Today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to create pop-out designs in Canva thanks to Diane and wanting to learn how to do it. So let's head over to Canva and I will show you how. So there's a couple ways to do this. The first way I'm going to show you is the easy peasy way. So I'm going to go in my uploads and I'm going to grab this image right here. So what I want to do is remove the background for this. And then I'm just going to go over to elements and I'm going to grab a regular old square. So I can do a square like so. Let me change the color in this to like maybe this tan color. And then what we're going to do here is just to go like this. Go on a position, put it behind, and there's your simple pop out. If you want to, you can curve the edges around the corner rounding. And then if you're going to do an image in full and fill it out, you see you got sharp edges here. Just go ahead and do that corner around it on that too to soften that up to match the curve of your square. And that's an easy, easy, easy pop out right then and there. You've got one easy peasy. That's way one. Let's go to way two. So I'm going to move this over in the corner. I'm going to go into my uploads. Let's see what else I've got in here. Let's grab Duke. So for Duke, I am going to use a frame. So I am going to go into elements. I'm going to go into frames. I'm going to use this. Let's see. We'll use this torn paper one. Maybe. Let's see. No, I want to use the telephone. Let's do the telephone with Duke. So I need to put the telephone behind Duke. Let's bring it to the back. And then I'm going to need to duplicate him maybe a couple times and you'll see why. So I'm going to put Duke in the frame. I'm going to double click on that frame and then I'm going to make it as large as I want. So I'm going to make sure that pieces I want popped out are hanging out. So what I want to hang out is his paw. So let me reduce this down so I can see. And I am going, I want his head and his paw to come out. So I'm going to do it like this. Put it over here. I think I want it a little bit bigger. And I want his paw like hanging out like so. Okay, now I have the interior of my phone done. What I need to do now, we can make this bigger for the minute is go and take my second image. I'm probably going to need a third, so I'm going to put a third one over here, and you'll see why in a second. I'm going to background remove. Now, I need to make this image fit over top the other one. So on my computer, I'm going to hold down my control key so it doesn't try to latch into the frame. I don't want that, so I'm going to hold my control key so it doesn't latch. I do believe you can hit the shift key and do the same thing, but I'm not quite sure. So with this one, I just want to overlay him on top of the other one. Make sure he matches up, which can be sometimes hard. Another way to do that, you can go and put the transparency on the top one. So you can kind of see underneath to help line you up some. And then you can just print the transparency back up. Now what I want to do with this one is I want to get the sides of it. You know what? I'm not even going to use this other picture. I'm just going to use this because it's already sized the way I want it to. So, and then I'm going to bring it into the sides of the telephone. Like so. See, his head and his foot is popping out. But I'm missing piece of his ear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to overlay it on top again. And then I'm going to do down because it's got all this bottom on it. I am going to go upward and then outward. Let me make it bigger so you can see. And then I just want it to where his cheek is sticking out. So I'm going to move it up to where it just looks like his face is popping out. So now you just see Duke and he is coming out of the phone. And that's another way you can do it. So like if you have a complex picture where you have like a lot of stuff you want to pop out, all you're going to do is keep duplicating the thing and then cropping to the pieces you want to stick out. So like say you did something like a flower or a flower bouquet and you want some flowers that were popping out up here, some popping out down here, you're going to do some creative cropping. So you're just going to crop and have your pieces that you want out sticking out and have them on top. If that makes sense. So now that we have the Duke one done, and then we're going to do 
put that up here. And then we're going to do one that, like a lot of you people see, I'm going to use this frame right here. It's a paper circle frame. A lot of people use a circle frame for like business stuff. I'm just going to use a paper one because I like the paper one. And you'll see this a lot for like um, real estate agents, business. If you hear jingling, that's Duke in the background. That's his collar. Um, so I am going to go into recently used and I'm going to grab this lady right here. So what you can do here, of course, we're going to duplicate her. We're going to put one over here and then I'm going to put her here. I am going to enlarge her to have her sit like I want, which I kind I want her arm and all sitting there, but I'm going to make her a little bit smaller and I'm going to bring her up as far as I can. And then I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to hold my control key down. I'm going to remove the background and then I am going to line her up. So I want her arms to stick out. So what I'm going to do is size her to fit. And then what I'm going to do is crop up into the circle where her arms are popped out. And then I'm going to make sure she's lined up well. So my thing with doing frames and stuff like this and pop out, man, it's hard to line this stuff up. So, you know, if you're using multiple frames and stuff like that, sometimes the lining up can be hard. But that is how you do it. And now if you see her, she's popping out of that circle. Um, most people will use a regular circle and just have her popping out. So we'll just do her. And then just put them in there like that. And then up. Like put her there. And then we'll go back into elements. Grab another one. Remove the background. Oops, not goofy. Remove the background. Hold the control key down going to line her up and then you're just going to drag till it gets to like to the top and then she's popping out like that so that's something somebody use so now if you're a person that likes stickers i use the pop out for stickers all the time so what we're going to do is go up to my uploads where i've been playing and i should have something that i've already done that's kind of already popped out so like this so this is a popped out image that I use. Let me change the background so you can see. Um, we'll do it in gray. So I downloaded it, brought it back into Canva. Now I'm going to remove the background. Now I wanted this to look like a sticker. So what you can do is you can go and edit, shadows, outline. Of course, stickers are usually white on the outside. Make it white. And then you just take the size to fill it in and look. Now it is a sticker and you have a pop out type sticker. So that's another little thing you can do with that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And that's how you do a pop out. My name is Michelle. Thank you guys for stopping by. I love you and I'll see you on the next one. Bye y'all.